Hi, it's Maya, and I'm here. Yes, after a month. I want to talk about, actually, I only want to talk about one album, and it's going to be Janae Aiko's Sold Out album. And I've been really meaning to do this review for a long time because I freaking love Janae Aiko's album because I'm like in a whole new environment making my videos. I'm actually in college, so it's just different. But okay, so let me start off by saying this. I love Janae Aiko, so this review is going to probably be pretty biased because before the album, before that, I already was previewed to Janae Aiko. I already had her first mixtape, uh, not S Sailing Souls, and then I got the second mixtape. Um, I don't know. It was like, like it's a good mixtape, but not nothing compared to the album. Now, if you have not bought this album, I highly, I don't even know why you haven't bought it. It's a great, amazing album. She's going to win a lot of awards. At when award season comes up, I'm gonna be very surprised if the Grammys do not at least nominate her for our best R&B album of the year and album of the year in general. That, that this album is phenomenal phenomenal it's amazing it's great and the people who don't like the album say she sounds same like the songs but it's the vibe of the album the album's supposed to make you feel some type of way and i like the vibe the album's very laid back it's very slow it's very calming it's very peaceful and that's what i always expected from janea eco's album so i'm gonna start off with her first song limbo 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 love the song it's a great album starter it's a little bit upbeat most of the songs are slower tempoed so it's kind of an upbeat love the song limbo 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 great song love it w her second song is w a y s and it stands for why aren't you smiling and this song is an anthem for you know, just people in general, like, you gotta, I gotta keep going, I gotta keep going, I gotta keep going. Like, the repetitive nature of the song, it's almost like, it's like she's repeating to herself, I gotta keep going, I gotta keep going. Like, I know, it's such, it's such a good song, it fits the vibe, it fits the mood. Such a good song, she has to get working for her daughter, great. The second song was, which is actually one of her singles, "To Love and to Die," featuring Cocaine A's. Uh, I love this song. The first time I bought it when it was a single, so when I got the album, all right, I was like, all right, have this, but it doesn't matter because I love "To Love and Die." It's such a good song. <sighs> if I could, like, you know, tell you again how good I feel like you can't really sing "To Love and to Die" is. A plus in my book. Okay, the fourth song is Spotless Mind. And Spotless Mind is there's a spotless this song called Spotless Mind and Eternal Sunshine. Don't y'all gonna say Eternal Sunshine. Like there's some songs on this album. Oh I, I I like connected with them so much, but Spotless Mind is a good song. I love Spotless Mind. Great I basically love every single song on this album. Oh they're all good songs, okay? Like Smallest Mind, great song. Okay, it's cool. Ugh. She's so real. She's like, at first, she was just trying to, you know, get some. And then she fell in love. And it was, just, and he didn't want her. She was just like, you know what? It's cool. Uh, you didn't mean anything to me anyway. We're, we're over it. Like, I'm over it. Fine. Whatever. Like, it's cool. <laughs> Boy, you love it, and then the sixth song, Lion King, which I think right now the pressure is her newest single. I think Lion King is gonna be the next one. Lion King is gonna be a hit. I don't know why people like Lion King so much. I think it's because it's a play on words, but Lion King is such a good song. <sighs> like, it's not my favorite off the album. I don't know why people are going gaga over it, but to each is on. Oh, no. every single song is great. Okay, number seven, waiting. Ah, ah, I love waiting so, 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 so much. I love waiting. Ah, 
I love it. Number eight, The Pressure is a great song also. If you have not heard The Pressure, she has a video out who, which was directed by Childish Gambino. And the song and the video is about basically about the pressure in life in general for her to be an entertainer, a mom, uh, be with somebody, and also the struggle it is for every woman out there. It's hard to be, you know, a working mother doing so many things like the pressure will make you feel. <laughs> <laughs> like the song says, the pressure, the pressure will make you feel okay. On to the next one. Okay, number nine, Brave. I like Brave. Um, it's not one of like it's not one of the standouts on the album. Like all the other songs I said, like I have them in my mind, but Brave is a it's still a great song. Every al song on this album is good. Brave is really empowering. Number 10. Okay. Okay, so these like next, all the next of these songs. Okay, number 10. Eternal Sunshine. Okay, let me start off. So when I first heard this song, I was just sitting on my bed in my dorm room, you know, and I was playing her album through. In Eternal Sunshine, it, I don't know why, it just, it hit me like, I just felt an instant connection to the song. The song just makes me feel so happy. And I don't know, it just, it really resonates with me. She was like, if I were, is it strange for me to say that if I were to die today, there's not a thing that I would change, I've lived well. That beginning, more than I see, the more that I know, I do not know anything at all. I can't see. The more that I stop and start to go slow, I think of the many things I can only recall. All of the good things, good things, good things, good things, only the good, the good, the good. The song is basically saying, she acknowledges the bad things in her life and there have been things in her life that you know she's been through but she should just let it go and it's best just to remember and focus on the good things and just focus on joy and love and life and i don't know internal sunshine is one of my favorites off the album it's such a good and powerful song and that beginning part it really just touched me i don't know why the beginning is it strange for me to say that if I were to die today There's not a thing that I would change, I've lived well Such a happy song Okay, number 11, Promises Featuring her uh, Namiko and Niyaji Niyaji, I think that's her, her deceased brother And her daughter I love, love love promises it's such a beautiful song and i just love how the beginning she's saying promise how you'll be all right just promise you'll be all right to her daughter it's the beginning saying you're getting so big now and you're making me so proud because you are such a star and you know that you are so every little little moment i wish that i could hold your hand but oh and then she switches it to her brother and she basically says i'll be she's telling her brother she'll be all right and it's a really touching song and it, it made me tear up for a second and it was just it i just love that song it's it's really touching and heartwarming and i don't know it's a beautiful song i i don't know i really felt it oh pretty bird featuring common it's I, I like it. I get the point. She's, it's, the song's like, why, you're so pretty, why are you so sad? Pretty bird, pretty bird, pretty bird, pretty bird, you're so pretty when you cry. Like, it's very repetitive, but I like the repetitive nature of this album. It fits the vibe and what she's going for, and you can really feel she put a lot into these songs. 
Now this is the deluxe edition and I like and then so I'm going to do the last two in the deluxe edition and the, the next song number 13 is Remember and I like Remember it's a great song I just like Remember and then number 14 is Blue Dream and I just like Blue Dream so all in all if you guys can't tell I like every single song off of the album 110% and I give this album 10 out of 10 and if you have not bought this album you should I cannot express anymore how good this album is and even even though I told you in the beginning that I was a fan of her you know I was like oh she you know even though I thought the album was gonna be like the worst and I love the worst but the worst gets kind of tiring I was like oh my god is this album gonna be like the worst and then when I heard it I was just like I get it like I feel like I was like like the whole album is just it's her soul and her soul is out there and she's bearing her soul to us in these songs and this is what she's it what she where she is right now and I I get it and she's saying like you have these bad times and there's these times in my life where you know I have to keep going for my daughter like there's these times where you know I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know what's what life is gonna take me I don't like know where life's gonna bring me but I know right now I have to keep working for my daughter I have to stay in a positive state of mind I have to be happy because that's the only way I can live a fulfilled life and I love it this album is so different it's great it's different from what's out there now because a lot of the music out here now is about smoking and drinking and sex and partying and women and girls and this and that and you know such materialistic things and I feel like this album is more about you know love and like real life issues <laughs> and I don't know I feel like it there's there's more substance and I like Janae Aiko and I don't know she needs she needs to be nominated for Grammys for best new artist best R&B album best album of the year this album is best album of the year material and I when award season comes she better get her dues where she deserves them because it's already October October basically and she's you know lighting up the, the fire so I know this video was incredibly long and just thank you for watching and I'm really passionate about this album I love Janae Aiko if you can send this album review out to her oh my god or she was on it though let me just calm down a bit but if you could send this review out to her i would greatly appreciate it it would help me and if you could just share like comment below what your favorite song is comment below how this album makes you feel just comment below this album just makes me feel so calm and nice just have myself my nice pink lemonade some snacks i'm just laying back and i literally just listen and and i get it like i i feel it and i haven't had music like this in a long time and I'm a music lover and I'm a music buff. And look out for Mila J's new, I think it's her EP or her LP. I don't know which, what she's putting out. I thought it was an album, but I thought now I'm hearing it's an EP, but it's called Made in LA. And I'm going to be doing a review of her album because I freaking love Mila, Mila J too. And that's Janae Aiko's sister, but they're two different lanes. So I'm not even gonna put pit them against each other because they're not even in the same genre of music and I'm really excited to hear that but besides that thanks for you know listening and watching and I know this is kind of long but whatever have a nice day I feel like I have a weird angle I have a weird angle oh well Number two. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me sit back.